You know, just going back to your point around, uh, you know, working with teams, you, I think you also mentioned that initially the change was a little hard when you introduced OKRs. So what changed, let's say, for the first 90 days, how were things and, you know, what changed after that? I think the first 90 days were a lot of uncertainty because some of the of the OKRs were aggressive, very aggressive. And so people got scared. They started to say, how on earth am I going to hit this, this goal or, they, or this key result? Because the objective made sense in a lot of minds, but the key results that is part of that framework were the things that were a little, like we are talking about 400% on X and like things that are really, really uh, high. And so there was fear for sure. There was fear. And I remember people coming to me telling me like, who the hell implemented this? And now with time, we're starting to see that not only it's doable, but it, but you need to be bold. Like that's the beauty of OKRs, right? Like you, you need to have bold goals, but, um, that at the same time are attainable. So that's kind of a challenge by itself. Like how do I make sure to go high enough that I am ambitious to keep my feet on the ground in order to say I can achieve this. And that balance is sometimes really hard to find. But I think leadership at JLL did a great job on coming up with the numbers. And I think we are, we're gonna hit, at least in some of the regions, uh, we're gonna hit those goals. 